all right hey friends welcome back and today's video i wanted to test a little new thing going on now i've been noticing a lot of people taking an interest in ai so i wanted to do another video testing an ai crochet pattern for a woman's large size crop top so i wanted to go ahead and give this whole ai thing a little shot and let's see what we make now before we get into the video if you are new here why don't you guys give that subscribe button a hit i do lots of crochet on this channel um but yeah let's get back to it all right so the app that i'm using today is called chatbox you literally just ask it any question this ai program will generate whatever you need as its response so i originally asked it and i'll put it up here on screen i need a crochet pattern for a woman's large crop top i did like that it gave me the type of yarn that i need how many skeins and the type of uh, size for crochet hook that I need but I feel like the amount of length like in yards would have been much better especially if you're at the store and a lot of stores don't sell the same amount of skeins in the same amount of yardage next I also liked that it gave you an estimate on the gauge like how much you should be crocheting with this many stitches and for how many rows That's so next we're gonna go on to the pattern so it starts off in a couple of steps and it gives you basically five steps for the front panel for the back panel it gives you a amount of six steps and then it gives you steps to also put the whole thing together like an assembly but we'll go ahead and start with obviously the front panel which is to chain 60 stitches so let's go ahead and do that all right so I've got my yarn here and I'm using the color white to gray it's also a worsted weight yarn so that means I'll be using a five millimeter crochet hook which is what our pattern pattern according to AI is what we need so let's get to it and 60 all right so according to this this is how long our top is supposed to be all right so step number two it says into the third chain we're going to double crochet all the way back Sorry. So a total of 58 stitches for every single row until we reach 12 inches long. I guess I'll get back to you guys once that's finished. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have officially finished the front panel. So for the back panel, it says that we're basically supposed to do the same thing that we did for the front panel, but this time instead of making it 12 inches long, we're supposed to make it 14 inches long. So I'll go ahead and get back to you guys once I'm finished with the front panel and the back panel. Alright, hey guys, so it is the next day. I could not get the back panel done all day yesterday between mom duties and cooking, cleaning, yeah. Anyways, I got the back panel done and as you can see, the back panel is supposed to be just a little bit longer than the front panel by two inches, so here they are. Before I go ahead and assemble both parts together, I do want to try to get the straps done so that everything is done, we just have to sew everything together. So basically, for the straps, all we're going to do is chain 50 stitches, double crochet back and forth, so a total of 48 stitches, then you fasten off and repeat for the second strap. Let's do the straps and then we'll get back to the assembly. Alright, so the instructions for the straps are weird. So the instructions essentially, essentially, sorry, tell me to crochet until the strap measures 20 inches from the beginning. Now, the length of the strap is already about 20 inches with the 50 chains that it tells you to make in the beginning but it doesn't tell you the width like how many rows of double crochets to make so i guess i'll just make it like two or three rows of double crochets let's just do it So for the assembly, it gets a little confusing here. Basically, we're supposed to lay each side from the back panel and the front panel and sew it up, but 
leave a six inch gap for the armholes. It doesn't say exactly where to leave the six inch gap. So I'm assuming that just leave six inches unsewed from the top. I'm not exactly sure. Let's go ahead and see. This, the shorter side is the front side and this longer side is the back side. And I'm basically gonna start sewing from the top here all the way to the bottom and continue on to the straps. So this is one side done. As you can see, one side is longer than the other. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the second one and I'll be right back to do the straps. All right, so now it is time for the straps. So basically, the straps are supposed to be attached two inches from the edge, kind of like this. Let's just do it. I will get back to you with the results. All right guys, we are finished. So this project took a total of about, I'd say a day and a half. This is what it looks like now. This AI crochet pattern. Let's talk about it. It had its pros and cons. Certain details in the pattern weren't very descriptive. So if you know how to crochet, if you know your way around patterns and stuff already, you would kind of guess that you're supposed to do this, this, and that according to the pattern. But if you're a beginner, following this AI pattern isn't the best. Basically, you would have to guess where things go and how to put things together. And if you were a complete beginner, this definitely Definitely would not be for you. Um, other than that, I would say I kind of enjoyed this. I would definitely give AI another chance at doing something else. Anyway, what do you guys think though? Do you think that AI is actually making pretty good patterns? Should we give it another shot? Also, thank you guys to everyone who has subscribed. It honestly gives me so much motivation to keep crocheting and keep putting out more content for you guys. And once again, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, hopefully we can grow even more. I'll go ahead and leave you guys with this. Try it for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think of it, if you guys ever try it also. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!